The left wants to censor what you say, to control your decisions, to tell you you can only agree with them. I believe in the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. I believe in freedom. Uh, at Ted Cruz, that's the right one, right? There's, there are other, there's so many Ted Cruz's that seem official on the Twitter. There's at Senator Ted Cruz, at Send Ted Cruz, but it's just Ted Cruz. At, at Ted Cruz is, is the main one. That's the political one. At Send Ted Cruz is official, but at okay. Ted Cruz. Why don't you just, why don't you just, you know, have, have like the people who take up all the other titles, you know, <laughs> have a couple of calls made. I would imagine, you know, it causes you some problems, you know, like at Send Ted Cruz-ish. Get rid of them. It's, uh, look, there are all sorts of crazy things on Twitter. The, 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 the nuts thing is I read all the bad things on Twitter. Why? I don't know, because it, 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 it gives you a sense of what's going on. Heidi thinks it's just that I'm a masochist. But like, I was going to say that, yeah. Every time someone, every nasty insult. So for every lefty out there, let me see. If you actually have something clever and funny, yeah. I'll like read it to the team. Like if someone's like, you know, F you. It's like, okay, well, that's very special. But, right. You know. A good insult that stings yeah, is really the, funny. The, the, those those are hysterical. By the way, I've got to say, I saw a show you did recently of this lefty who who said he wanted a piece of you. That's and a you, lot of them. You're gonna have to narrow it down. As a genie and hunted him down. I didn't hunt. Let's be careful with the okay, language there, because right, next thing right. they're going to blame me for creating a map. No, no, I dress as a genie and granted his wish. It, it yes, it was hysterical. I was doubled over. I was driving somewhere in Texas, watching it on my phone, and doubled over laughing. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. But back to the insults. It's true. One was, I think, uh, uh, QB Garrett knows. Someone insulted me one time. Said something like, "This is about as terrible as that zit that Crowder tried to clearly cover up." And it was true. I had it, and I was like, "Oh man, that's a beautiful burn. It stings. It's worth it." And we repost them. But if it's just vulgar and angry, yeah. It's not really fun. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I'm glad to see that you see, you see you can appreciate it. A lot of people don't get to see the sense of humor this side of Ted Cruz. Um, so speaking of which, obviously, this, this is a race right now, yeah. obviously, for, for people who don't know. There's, you know, Senate is, is some, it's important in our government. Uh, I would advise they go check out Schoolhouse Rock. Let me ask you this. Why is it even uh, being discussed as though it's within striking distance with this O'Rourke character? Well, it's a crazy time. Uh, the hard left, they're really angry. Uh, they're filled with rage. They're filled with hatred for President Trump. Sure. And, and we're seeing that spill out everywhere you look. I mean, we're seeing it, um, you know, this, this, this past week, Heidi and I were confronted by screaming protesters having dinner in Washington. And, and, and right. they basically shut the restaurant down by screaming and yelling and surrounding us. And, and, and we see that kind of nastiness just growing and growing and growing. Well, that kind of energy, it's politically, it's dangerous because mm -hmm. what it means is tens of millions of dollars are flooding into the state of Texas. That, that, that if you're on the far left and you can defeat one Republican in the country who's on the ballot, it'd be me. Yes. And, and so they're flooding the state with cash. Uh, and, and well, if, if your goal is to, to, to defeat a, a, an actual consistent conservative Republican, yeah, yeah uh, you know, they, they would be going after you. And that's what that's what bothers me about this uh, so much. And I, I don't really think it's nearly as close as the media is trying to cover it. But you're not going to get a prime spot yeah. on Ellen the same way. It's amazing right. that these people who would never pay attention to this race are putting all of this momentum behind a guy uh, just to put him within, you know, uh, I, I mean, how close do you really think this is? Do you think it's an example of Trump where it won't even be close? Well, look, the polls. It, Texas has been trending more purple. So when I ran in 2012, right. I, I won the state by 16 points. Right. Uh, in 2016, Trump won by just over eight points. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the same margin he had in Ohio. So nobody thinks of Ohio as bright red, unshakably Republican. I think that's true of Texas, too, that, right. that, that we have we got 28 million people. We have a ton of liberals. We have a good 10 million liberals in the state of Texas. Now, conservatives outnumber them. But, you know. You know, go down to Austin and, and, you know, Travis County is filled with as left wing people as you'll find anywhere. And, and there are a lot of them. And right now, you know, anger is a dangerous motivator. Right. Uh, if you think about it on the right in 2010, President Obama had been elected. He jammed through Obamacare. He jammed through Dodd-Frank. And a whole lot of folks, a whole lot of conservatives and libertarians were ticked off. He was doing a lot of damage to the country. Sure. And we saw a tidal wave election in 2010. I think we won something like 70 seats in yeah. the House. Yeah, it was big. That kind of energy is dangerous, in part because it unifies you. So folks on the left, they may disagree on all sorts of things. Are you a full-on socialist or a communist? I mean, they're having those kind of arguments. R yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> or I, Marxist. And I think yeah. the only difference at that point is a beard. I, or the length thereof, yes. I, look, as a Cuban, I'm not going to knock anyone for having a beard. <laughs> <Okay>. but, <laughs> right. <laughs> but look. The anger lets them all be unified. They can all agree they hate Donald Trump. Right. And so that keeps them together. The danger on the right, if you look at the center-right coalition, you got conservatives, libertarians, independents, is one or two percent are miffed about one thing, and one or two percent are miffed about something else. Right. 
and we may not be unified. Uh, let me ask you this. How do you think this relates finally? We do have to let, I know you're busy and you have to get to the airport, to this election. Uh, I noticed, uh, I watched the debates. Yeah. Obviously not as many people watched yeah. these debates as the presidential debates, but for people who didn't watch it, huge contrast. You were talking about yeah. policy, yeah. how well Texas has done yes. uh, in comparison to further left states. And your opponent would opine, get very uh, emotional, talk about how he's had a DUI and talk about how everyone needs to be given a second chance. Have you noticed that he's doing obviously not accusing anyone of rape, but it's that similar emotional grandstanding. That's the contrast that I see in this election. Well, look, there's a lot of pattern on the far left where they try to be, uh, they try to manipulate people with emotion and they avoid facts or logic or reason. Um, if you look at every couple of weeks or every couple of days, rather, we see a media puff piece of Beto O'Rourke and he's, it's all rainbows and puppies. Right. It's just, oh, look at his hair, look at his teeth. You look Didn't at he get arrested for burglary? I, Am I mistaken? I, I know the DU, I just, I think it's burglary, but not, but arrested. Okay, go ahead. I don't want to put you in home. The, but he's got great hair. Yes, he does. He, 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 uh, and, and the media is deliberately trying to keep it warm and fuzzy and not focus on substance. That's actually why I thought the debate was important, because substance yeah. matters. I think Texans are smart, and our economy is booming. I mean, it is going extremely well. Not if and, the Californians would have their way to keep on moving. I know, you know. And, and, and my approach is... I'm going to ignore the personal attacks. I'm not going to do what the Democrats did in the Kavanaugh hearings and go into the gutter. Yeah. I'm going to keep it focused on substance, on issues. And on substance and issues, his position is radical and it's bad for Texas. It is pretty radically left. And, I, I'm, I'm glad to hear you say it because a lot of times people say, well, okay, there's... I think he's pretty radical. It, it, it is... Typically in a general election, Democrats pretend to run to the middle. Right. This guy is running to the left of Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. And I'll say, you know, you've got a lot of folks watching you who are libertarians. Yeah. If you're a libertarian at home, this guy is a big government statist. Yeah. He wants the government in charge of everything. He wants full on socialized medicine. So the government's in charge of your doctor, your health care. He wants government regulation. He's he's voted in favor of a ten dollar a barrel tax on every barrel of oil in the state of Texas. Yeah. Now, our economy, millions of jobs in the state depend on energy, and, 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 and he's perfectly happy to just hammer it. By the way, that works out for every one of us who drives Yeah. to 24 cents a gallon in taxes that you'd pay on but, top. But he watched Deepwater Horizon once, so he knows what he's talking about. No, he's <laughs> to the left of uh, Nina Pinta Santa Maria Cortez. I think that's important to note. Here's what I always say to people. Listen, I know we got to get going. What I always say to people is uh, Texas, no state tax, and a surplus for as many years as I can count. We've got it right. Uh, so go forward and vote. It's at Ted Cruz. That's the right one, at Ted Cruz. Uh, at at Ted Cruz, and then tedcruz.org is the website. And, and freedom works. That, that would be my cro closing words. Look, for young people, why would you want some unelected bureaucrat in Washington running your life? You ought to be free to choose to choose your education, to choose your job, to choose your free speech. The left wants to censor what you say, to control your decisions, to tell you you can only agree with them. I believe in the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. I believe in freedom. And I think that most young people in Texas and across the country do as well. We've turned the tables on Al Gore and used the internet to our advantage. If you like this video, subscribe by hitting the subscribe button or the notification bell next to it because subscribing isn't enough. Watch one of these other videos and, uh, you know, listen, you can, you can stick around. You don't have to. But here's the thing. The fact that you're still listening to me saying stick around, as I say stick around and you're sticking around, ah, we just added another ad. You just made me four more cents.